What's up everybody? Well, every application in Power Apps needs to store their data somewhere. We can choose an Excel file, a SQL database, even the CDS. Uh, all of them are valid choices, but uh, obviously it will depend on, the, on your needs and obviously also the limitations that you could have. Uh, our opportunity management application has been built using SharePoint Online list as data sources. If you want me to let you know which uh, data store is uh, more appropriate in different, uh, in different scenarios, just let me know in the comments. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at how can we create those SharePoint online list, but in an automated way using a PowerShell script. So let's dive into it. Okay, so we are here in the opportunity management site and we have some lists here. Those are the lists that we use for our application. Let's go to the site contents so we can see the complete list of lists. And let's go to the settings of the opportunities list. So we can see here that we have different fields and from different types, right? So that's basically what we need to replicate from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new SharePoint online site. Let's click on create site. Team site specify the site name, in this case, op management site 2. And then let's click on next. Then we need to specify the owner. In this case, I'm going to be the owner and click on finish. So now we can see our site that, that has been created. So the next thing is to create this list. But before that, let me show you that I have this Excel file with all the list that we use in our application. We also have this specified the fields, the types. In case the field is a choice, we specify the values. So I'm going to share that with you in the description of, the, of this video. We can create the list manually, but instead of doing that, we are going to use this PowerShell script. OK, here we have all the logic. Uh, I again, I'm going to share this script with you in the description of this video. And then we have here the URL. Basically, this is the, the most important variable. So we are going to copy the URL of the site that we have recently created and then click here to paste. Okay. The next thing it, it, that is important to know is that we need to specify an XML file here. So the XML file basically it's going to have all the lists as well as the fields that needs to be created. So you can see here I have specified the, the list name, the type. All of those lists are going to be a generic list. And also we see here all the fields, right? The fields that are from different types. So let's execute this script. I need to specify the user and password. So let me copy the username and also the password okay and now the powershell script is going to be executed you can you can see here that uh, the the list have been created the fields are are added to the list um so let's wait it finish okay the script has been completed now if we refresh the site what we're going to see is that we have all the lists created. We can go to the site contents to, to be sure of that. Yeah, we have all the list and we can also go to the, for example, the settings of the customers list to see if all the fields have been created. And as you can see here, all the fields have been successfully created. Okay. So let me show you that I have created a project in GitHub where uh, I have all the 
the resources. Basically, you will have access to Excel file, to the PowerShell script that you can see here. Also to the XML file with the structure of the list and the fields. So I'm going to share this URL with you in the, in the description of this video. And also it's important uh, for you to know that uh, we are using this PMP PowerShell, basically the SharePoint patterns and practices to execute this script. So you will need to install this module for SharePoint Online before being able to execute the script. Okay. okay, guys, hopefully this was helpful for you. In our next video, we are going to start applying some filters to our customers gallery. So if you like this content, please don't forget to subscribe, uh, share this with your friends. And if you have any question, any suggestion, please leave it in the comments. So see you in the next video. Bye.